your skin. But your skin has to be wet for that to happen. So the slime keeps his skin wet so he can breathe. The slime protects him from germs. You guys know about germs, right? We get sick from germs, and we always wash our hands and stuff. You know, we cough into our elbow and, and sneeze through our elbow so we don't get germs in our hands. Well, salamanders, the, the slime acts like a germ trap. So if the, uh, the, the germ gets on him, it gets stuck, and it can't make him sick. If you didn't get a flu shot and you're worried about catching the flu, you just cover yourself with Vaseline from head to toe, you wouldn't get sick. So all the germs will land in the Vaseline, plus nobody would come near you with a couple of Vaseline. So you're healthy at the end of the day. She's always making new slime out of the old slime. The old stuff rubs off, keeps her away from her skin. The slime, don't ask me how I know, but it eats bad. It's really bad. It's virgin, it's something horrible. I was six. So if an animal bites her, they spit her right back out again. Big salamanders like this spotted salamander make a sticky slime in their tail. And this sticky slime uh, is like glue. When you get it on your skin, well, you might notice this one finger here is like really dirty. That's from, you know, taking care of my salamanders today. Um, the slime gets on your skin, it dries right away, and it won't wash off. It takes days to wear it out of the grooves and the pores of your skin. And uh, so if an animal bites his tail, it winds up with a nasty coating in his mouth for days. Uh, we have a salamander right around here in Greene County. It's black, it's about that long with little white speckles. And the slime in his tail is so sticky, if a bird pecks its tail trying to pick it up, it'll glue the bird's beak shut for a day or two afterwards. And some salamanders have poisonous slime. Have you guys ever seen the little orange salamanders with red dots? Those are baby newts. Your parents used to play with them when they were kids. In their skin is one of the strongest animal poisons known to man. And the ones around here are poisonous enough to kill a cat or a small dog that picks them up in their mouth, just like a toad. So, always wash your hands. Now, if nature gave salamanders all this protection, they got to be doing something good. You know what salamanders do for nature? They dig tunnels underground along tree roots, and they eat bugs that eat the roots of plants and trees. If your parents have a yard, you might have heard them talking about grubs. Grubs are horrible little wormy things or baby beetles, and they eat up all the roots and kill the lawn and kill the good plants. Well, salamanders eat as much as they weigh grubs every day and keep under control. Now, since he does such a good job, this salamander here, the spotted salamander, is 25 years. The little oranges and the red dots, 35 years. You might lift a piece of cardboard right in town and find a little black salamander with a red stripe. They live 15 years, they're barely as big as a piece of string. So salamanders do good jobs too. Hey, we did good, we got through a lot of stuff. And they were an awful good audience for the ages, they were wonderful. Any questions about frogs or toads or salamanders or anything?